President Obama's decision to stop legally supporting the Defense of Marriage Act does not end the debate, but it does put advocates for traditional marriage on the offensive. That's what they say. The executive director of the Family Institute of Connecticut said Friday, quote, if anything, this increases the chances of the traditional marriage side. The Obama policy is now much more honest than it was just 24 or 48 hours ago. Joe Salmanese is the president of the Human Rights Campaign, and he's joining us now live from Washington, D.C. Joe, thanks for your time. Gay rights groups got good news from the president, but you can see that it's uh, certainly lit this fire under proponents of traditional marriage. How do those human rights groups like yours now respond? Well, I think first and foremost, it's important to remember what it is that we're responding to. Uh, the issue in this case really is whether or not couples in states where marriage equality is legal, like Massachusetts, ought to be afforded the same federal benefits that all married couples in Massachusetts should be afforded. The president considered that question. He determined that it was not only unfair, but unconstitutional. And so, uh, you know, there you have it. The case will continue to move its way through the courts. Uh, I think one of the things that's been interesting about the, the response, I should say, one is uh, probably the, the lack of response by many on the other side, but those who have responded, uh, whether it, the organizational response that you mentioned or some in Congress. Um, has been really around sort of procedure uh, and uh, the law and, and not really on the merits of the issue, which, which I think, quite frankly, is a victory for our side. But, Joe, important to note, I mean, gay, gay marriage opponents are saying that they're hoping that the Speaker of the House, John Boehner, will now get involved and that he would appoint, as they say, a special counsel to do the job that the Department of Justice refuses to do. So is this going to sort of ratchet up the rhetoric and ultimately ratchet up uh, the stakes as we go forward? Well, that's certainly the right of the speaker to do. Uh, what I think is interesting is that uh, just the other day, Speaker Boehner, uh, and this is an example of a kind of not wanting to deal with this on the merits, because perhaps he sees that this is an issue that where the American people are moving in our direction, but he said that he felt like the president's uh, statement was really out of step with what it is that he should be focused on, that he should be focused on jobs and the economy, on putting people back to work, and on fixing the nation's economy, not a, a social issue like the Defense of Marriage Act. Well, if that's what the speaker had to say, then uh, you know, it seems rather strange to me that uh, he's not going to take his own advice uh, and do just that in the House. Joe Salmanese is the president of the Human Rights Campaign. He's joining us from Washington. Joe, I appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you.